the Saigenthala Pedestrian Bridge. Nashville, a place where the city's heartbeat can be felt in every step, every note, and every glance. A bridge pulsing with music, history, and the dreams of a thousand songwriters. Here, melodies float on the breeze, mingling with the whispers of the past and the hopes for the future. On this bridge, under a summer sky, a story unfolded. A story not just etched in the annals of fame, but in the hearts of those who walked its length. Not a story of fame or fortune, but of courage, compassion, and the enduring power of human connection. Acts of kindness, shared smiles, and the simple joy of being together. John Bon Jovi, the rock icon, stood on the bridge. His presence added a new chapter to the bridge's rich tapestry. He wasn't there for a concert, not this time. Instead, he was there to capture the essence of the bridge, the city and its people. He was filming a music video, his music echoing off the Cumberland River. The notes reverberated, telling a story of their own. Around him, a crew worked, the air buzzing with creative energy. Cameras rolled, capturing every moment, every nuance. But the city's rhythm was about to change. As the sun dipped below the horizon, a new chapter was about to begin. A different kind of song was about to be written. One that spoke of unity, resilience, and the unbreakable spirit of Nashville. The day was like any other, or so it seemed. The camera rolled, capturing the essence of Bon Jovi's latest song. The crew moved with practiced precision, each person a vital part of the intricate dance of filmmaking. Then, a shift, a change in the atmosphere. A hush fell over the set as someone noticed a woman on the wrong side of the railing. Her silhouette, a stark contrast against the bright cityscape, spoke volumes without a word. A collective gasp rippled through the crowd. Fear, concern, a shared sense of helplessness hung heavy in the air. But amidst the growing panic, one man sprang into action. John Bon Jovi, known for his music, his energy, his rock star persona, was now a man on a mission. His life had always been about more than just the music. It was about connecting with people, touching their lives in meaningful ways. Today, that mission had taken on a new urgency. He moved with a quiet urgency, pushing past the cameras and the concerned faces. Each step he took was deliberate, each movement filled with purpose. The crowd seemed to part for him, sensing the gravity of the moment. His eyes, filled with a deep empathy, locked onto the woman. Those eyes, which had seen so much over the years, now reflected a profound understanding of her pain. They were eyes that had witnessed both the highs and lows of life, and now they were focused solely on her. He was joined by a woman from the film crew, her own compassion mirroring his. She had been working behind the scenes, but now she stepped forward drawn by the same sense of urgency. Together, they formed a united front of empathy and support. Together, they approached cautiously, their voices soft, soothing. They knew that in moments like these, words had to be chosen carefully, each one carrying the weight of their intentions. Their approach was gentle, their presence a calming influence. They spoke of hope, of second chances, their words like lifelines thrown across a chasm of despair. They talked about the power of resilience, the strength found in vulnerability, and the possibility of a brighter tomorrow. Their conversation was a beacon of light in the darkness. Every word, every gesture was a testament to their shared humanity. They were not just speaking to her, they were reaching out to her soul, 
offering a connection that transcended words. Their empathy was palpable, a bridge to her isolated world. The woman on the edge, lost in her own world of pain, had become their only focus. She stood there, teetering on the brink, her thoughts a whirlwind of despair. But in that moment, she was not alone. John Bon Jovi and the woman from the film crew were there, their presence a lifeline, their compassion a beacon of hope. Minutes stretched into an eternity. The air crackled with tension, every breath a prayer whispered into the wind. Bon Jovi and the assistant never faltered, their voices a constant reassurance. They listened, they empathised, they reminded the woman that she was not alone. And slowly, painstakingly, a flicker of hope emerged. The woman, her face etched with pain, responded to their kindness. She inched closer to the railing, drawn back from the brink by their compassion. With a final surge of courage, she allowed them to pull her back to safety. The bridge, a silent witness to her despair, now bore witness to her rescue. Section 5. The Bridge to Hope This bridge, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of unity, stands tall in the heart of Nashville. It has witnessed countless stories, but today, it becomes the stage for a tale of resilience and compassion. The ambulance arrived, sirens wailing, a stark reminder of the fragility of life. The urgency in the air was palpable, as every second counted in this race against time. The woman, wrapped in a blanket and surrounded by paramedics, was safe. Her eyes, once filled with fear, now showed a glimmer of hope. The paramedics work swiftly, their expertise and dedication evident in every move. The crowd, their anxiety replaced with relief, erupted in applause. Their collective sigh of relief was almost tangible, a shared moment of humanity and solidarity. But amidst the celebration, a profound silence settled over Bon Jovi. He stood there, a rock icon, Yet in this moment, just another human being, deeply moved by the events unfolding before him. He had stared into the abyss of despair and emerged, not with a triumphant roar, but with a heart filled with quiet gratitude. His eyes reflected a journey of emotions from fear to relief, and finally, to a deep sense of thankfulness. He had used his platform, his voice, not to entertain, but to save a life. In that moment, his music took a backseat to the more pressing need of human connection and compassion. The bridge, once a stage for his music, had become a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of human connection. As the sun set, casting a golden hue over the bridge, it stood as a beacon of hope, reminding everyone that even in the darkest times, there is always a glimmer of light. Section 6 Ripples of kindness. News of the incident spread like wildfire. Headlines proclaimed Bon Jovi a hero, but the true heroism lay in the collective act of compassion. The film crew, the onlookers, the first responders, all played a part in saving a life. The woman on the bridge became a symbol of the silent struggles so many face. Her story resonated with countless others, reminding them that they too are not alone. The Siegenthaler pedestrian bridge, once a place of despair, now stood as a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, kindness can prevail. Section 7 shining a light on mental health. The incident on the bridge served as a stark reminder of the importance of mental health awareness. It sparked conversations, encouraged empathy, and brought the often stigmatized topic into the spotlight. 
It highlighted the need for open dialogue, for support systems, and for readily available resources for those struggling with suicidal thoughts or mental health crises. It underscored the importance of recognizing the warning signs, of reaching out to loved ones, and of seeking professional help when needed. Section 8. You are not alone. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, please know that you are not alone. There is help available and there is hope. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member, therapist, or call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. This confidential 24-7 service connects you with trained counsellors who can provide support and resources. Remember, there is strength in seeking help and every life is precious and worth saving. Section 9 Everyday Heroes John Bon Jovi's actions on the Saigonthala pedestrian bridge were a powerful reminder that heroism comes in many forms. It's not always about grand gestures, but about the everyday acts of kindness and compassion that have the power to change lives. It's about noticing those in need, lending a listening ear, offering a helping hand, and reminding each other that we are all connected and that no one should ever feel alone. In a world often filled with darkness, let us strive to be beacons of light, spreading hope and kindness where